Hey guys, welcome to the video. Getting in the Camaro now. About to have it go and get its transmission checked out. Because I don't know if y'all watched that last video of the acceleration. But immediately I knew that something was wrong. Because I was hearing it bang. Like the transmission bang like right in here. And I honestly think that it is the transmission mount. I was reading on the forums and that evidently is a common problem with these things unfortunately. So I think that's what it was. I'm going to drive it carefully today. To one of my buddies and it is a not not a very expensive part but unfortunately it happens sometimes let's see how easy it starts with that new fuel pump man not even close to how it used to start it is easy now my dad surprised me and got the uh, air conditioning fixed the other day and he also whenever the mechanic was going through the air conditioner he found a fuel line that was leaking and he fixed that so let's be on our way you can kind of hear the belt unfortunately i believe that's what it is it kind of stops after you're driving for a little while sorry just trying to get my seat belt on here but let's head off so driving along i'm not going to try to duplicate the sound that it's making because i want the transmission to you know i i don't think it causes much harm to it but just in case it does i do not want anything bad to happen but it does it under, you know, medium top accelerations at lower RPMs. But it takes off just fine. But we're going to get it done and see how much better it performs afterwards. So there it is, right there. You lift it up on the transmission. And the transmission mount sure enough broke. $65 to get it done for my friend and it is back driving like a dream man I'm loving this car we found a small little coolant leak but he tightened up one of the hoses and it seemed to straighten itself out we watched it and it did not seem to leak anymore after that so that is good so next I've just got to fix these pesky blinkers and I you know I replaced that brake light <laughs> and and it still will not come on the brake, so it's got to be something wiring or something like that. So both of the front blinkers intermittently work, sometimes, sometimes don't. Rear ones always work. I heard it could be the DRL, daytime running lights module, doing that. But those are the only issues I have, and then it should pass inspections. So I've got to figure out something. <laughs> So now I'm heading on over, get, getting its first oil change using Castor Oil 10W30, and an, I think it's an AC Delco oil filter. I, I really like Castor Oil, and the AC Delco I was reading, originally I was going to replace it with a Fram, but I read, no, 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 don't do that at all. Uh, they're one of the worst filters you can put on a car like this. So that's why I'm getting done to it next. This car is a beast to drive. I, I love every second of it. So that's about it for today. Just had some stuff to do. Now I gotta go mow some yards. So thank y'all for watching this video, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. We're gonna be doing lots more with this car. Thank you, guys.